Hello. For this pause video, we are going to see a fresh new installation of the software. And to be more specific, it's going to be an MSA installation. I already have here a folder that contains both the BA test setup and the license. It's important to note that the license file has to be in the same location as your BA test setup file because when you run the software the installation, it will pick up the information you have on that license.exe. And that license has all of your company information. Okay, as you can see here, the software did detect the license file and it did pull up my company information on done click on next there yes next okay we're currently installing the drivers here Click on finish. For this portion of the installation, uh, we are going to install the Postgres software, which will contain your databases. So go ahead and actually click on the install a new Postgres server. Click on next. From there, select basic and then 8.3 if you're running Windows 10. On your PC. Select the firewall test and then from there install. Bio1 is the default uh, name given to the user that will run the Postgres service in the background. And then from here, we go back to the main installation and we are going to proceed in installing the different databases, which at the start, we are going to install the model database. Click on next. And then from there, we're gonna install the test results database. Click on install a new. And then go ahead and type in anything you want there for naming your database. And then click OK on that. Close that and finish afterwards. So from here, we are going to open up the software. And it should prompt you with the user ID and password. You only have one account since so it's actually a fresh new install. It's set up for user ID as well as a password setup with a capital S. Go ahead and log on. If you have your POSI3 machine connected, you could initialize the POSI3 USB, but for this demo, we're going to close this down. And uh, one thing to note since the setup account doesn't have access or permission to do tests, we do have to create a new user. And we'll just click on the plus icon there, type in a generic name, add a user ID and password. And in terms of permissions, you have to select level four.
And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and actually close this down. I'm going to reopen the software and log in with our new account. And as you can see here, I'm currently logged into my account.